director of the Atlanta season 4 finale Hero Murai, clarifies that ludicrous and murky conclusion by addressing whether or not Darius was genuinely dreaming, discusses whether Darius has been dreaming the entire time. Up until its final shot, the FX series stayed true to itself by continuing to be delightfully absurd. Ern, Vanessa, and Alfred have made plans to eat at a black-owned sushi fusion restaurant, and Darius, Lackeith Stanfield, the series' central character, will meet them there later. First, he has an appointment at a sensory deprivation tank. That's where things get really weird, leading to a closing shot that has sparked a lot of discussion among fans. The series concludes with an ambiguous setup that centers on Atlanta's strangest major character. Darius informs Ern, Vanessa, and Alfred that they are all characters in a dream he is having in the final scene of the episode. The trio makes an effort to reassure him that he is indeed experiencing reality, but the story doesn't provide any definitive answers. Murai discussed the finale and what he wanted viewers to take away from it in an interview with Vanity Fair. If it had been a regular episode, I might have watched it differently. But because it was the series finale, I couldn't help putting weight on the image of the closed drawer. It looked like it belonged in a morgue rather than a sensory deprivation tank spa, so it left me wondering. Is Darius dead rather than dreaming? Murai? Our show's always been sort of obsessed with existential angst, you know? So as ridiculous as the concept is, it's also about. Does any of this mean anything in the long run? Is it all ephemeral, like a dream, or is this something that we can treasure and have it have meaning in our lives? I think that's always been the balance of the show to do something kind of silly and maybe semi-meaningful at the same time. VF. It also felt like it was referencing classic TV tropes, like Newhart's dream ending or The Sopranos' notoriously ambiguous ending. It leaves us wondering, is he or isn't he? Murai? Definitely. The finale is doing all those things we're talking about. I hope it's a Rorschach test. I think people are going to take it with different levels of seriousness. VF. If Atlanta were a different kind of show, you would have planted all kinds of Easter eggs and clues along the way. Murai. We were always redefining what our world was as we went along. We've always lived a couple of inches off the ground of reality. And so what does it all mean? Is this a parallel universe, is it subjective absurdism, or is it all inside Darius's dream? So we're kind of playing with those expectations as well. What Atlanta's last shot means? In real terms the episode's cheeky title, It Was All a Dream, comes from director Murai and writer Donald Glover. As Murai says, audiences are free to interpret that whatever they like. Usually, Darius remembers who he is by glancing at Judge Judy, who gave her permission to be included in the finale. At one point, he explains that if the TV judge appears thicker than usual or if her figure appears different, it signifies he is dreaming. However, if she appears the same as she normally does, Darius is actually present. Atlanta avoids the simple solution, as it has so many times before. For fans who need an explanation for the inexplicable strangeness that the Emmy-winning series sometimes dipped into, like The Invisible Cars or the Teddy Perkins episode or the anthology detours, those can now be hand-waved away as a part of Darius's dreams. Viewers have noticed how it's mentioned that Darius spends about 30 minutes in the tank, once per week. That's conveniently the length of a typical Atlanta episode. So, in one reading, Darius may have dreamt up everything weird about Atlanta. There is, however, another reading. It's plausible, and in fact very likely, that Judge Judy looks the same as usual do of Darius's smile. He understands that the joyful and subdued moment he is experiencing with Ern, Alfred, and Vanessa is genuine as can be. He is good, and they are both good, despite the fact that they have taken different paths. In Atlanta, that would undoubtedly be worth one final smile.